Yeah, this Carter Eric. Check your mute button, please, Eric. Okay, I think we're cooking with gas right now. The gas is on. All right. Thanks for having me, Rob, and thanks for the introduction. And I think I'll just hit that webcam so people know I'm a real person. And uh, there you go. Unfortunately, oh, wow. unfortunately, I'm not better looking, but that's what you get. Okay, I think we're ready to get started. And it looks like everyone can see the presentation okay, and if not, I'm sure you'll let me know. But we're gonna talk about high probability options trading and how to do this uh, really with technology and the wind at your back, so to speak. We'll look at pre-built option spreads, automated risk profit management, uh, hedging strategies, speculation, directional, non-directional, we've got it all. And then the most unique trade alerts that you've ever seen, and that's probably no joke, uh, no hyperbole there. So let's jump into it. Uh, thanks traders corner for having me and let's talk about speculation and risk remember we're trying to make money like the uh like duke and duke here the duke brothers and trading places in valentine and we're trying to speculate as prices move up and down but of course uh the whole idea there is to make money but at the same time there is always risk so do take a moment and look at the risk disclosure it is important Important thing here is all funds committed should be risk capital and past performance is not a guarantee of future results. And how many of you are familiar with a chart like this? This could be any time frame, any market. And that's just a lot, a lot of uh, misdirection and choppy activity. So forget all that. We're not gonna do anything with that. We're not gonna be looking at chart reading or anything like that. We're going to look at trading stock index options using our proprietary algorithm and automation. So you want to end up like this uh, this robot here, not like this poor chap trading and struggling with their orders. A little bit about AltaVest since 1997. We're a registered introducing brokerage firm, and we've traded, uh, well, for multiple decades now, millions of contracts along the way. There we are on the trading floor with our S&P 500 options brokers. Uh, we're a member uh, with the NFA, registered with the CFTC, located in California. Those are the regulatory agencies in our industry. And along the way, like I mentioned, we've traded tens of millions of options contracts. So I think the idea there is maybe you've seen us before. We sometimes get quoted in various publications. Here we are on Market Watch just the other week. And maybe you've seen some of our other presentations as well but the idea is we have a lot of experience and we've done a lot of the work for you you don't want to be like this poor gentleman here in the basement all alone trying to do it yourself so you can use us and use our experience um, so we're going to show you something that we've developed over these many years and a little bit about myself i'm eric gebhard a graduate from the university of southern california since 1991 i've had my series three license I'm a co-founder of AltaVest. Maybe you've seen some of these other presentations um, and that's okay. We'll probably do something a little bit different than what you've seen in the past. We're gonna get into a live demo in just a bit here. I began in mutual funds, had my series six and 63 securities licenses. And I mentioned the uh, series three commodity license and then the investment advisor law exam as well. So that's a little bit about myself and what I'm gonna do now save a little bit of uh, screen land, uh, real estate here. I'm gonna shut off the webcam. That way you have more room to see. But just a little bit about the current economic backdrop and we're not getting into global macro or fundamentals, but you know, mortgage rates have surged to their highest in 12 years. Existing home sales are at their lowest since the pandemic fallout. You've got uh, 10 year, treasuries uh, the break-even levels at all-time highs yield curves inverted uh, manufacturing outlooks lowest since 2008 on and on and on there's there's a lot more we could say about all that but how do, how do you trade in this environment you know if you're day trading for example is it true that only one percent of day traders are profitable well let's take a look at that but, but before we do how about these three common barriers to trading success? And I think we can all relate to this and feel free to 
jump in and let me know which ones you relate to most. How about this? Is it really less than a 1% success rate for day traders? Article called The Day Trading Pandemic uh, last year or two by an economist. They looked at Charles Schwab, six years of trading at Charles Schwab accounts. Traders substantially underperformed a low cost indexed fund. The most active traders were the worst. Uh, here's a study out of Taiwan over a 15 year period. Less than 1% of the day traders consistently beat the market. Here's another one out of Brazil. Only 3% of the traders made money and then less than 1% made more than the minimum wage. So it's difficult even for the, for the professionals. Look at this, 79% of active fund managers underperformed their benchmarks. And over the last 10 years, 86% of the active fund managers underperformed. Maybe you can hide in the uh, tech world, picking tech stocks. Well, not so fast. Just saw this headline the other day. 21 of these large cap tech stocks now are down 50% from their highs. I'm sure uh, something I don't need to remind all of us of. Do we want to listen to the gurus and the pundits on TV? And, and I'm not picking on Jim Cramer in particular. It just happens to be so well known. But here he is by Netflix, you know, down. I think this is just from a few days ago. Um, that 57%, I think it's even worse now. Coinbase, you know, down 67%. So what about social media? Do you want to rely on social media for your trading advice? Well, keep in mind, social media, basically, unless you're bullish on everything all the time, uh, you won't have an audience. You know, here's this kid said he found a glitch in the stock market. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Here's another guy says he had 500,000 from his parents and he's lost 96% of it. So we don't want to do this, people. We're going to try to avoid this like the plague. You stay away from the narratives and the storytelling. That's not going to be a sustainable strategy. So how about number two here, another, another hurdle? We kind of looked at it here though, but if you are trading, whether it's day trading or swing or systematic, whatever, are you actually beating the market? Are your efforts paying off? You know, are you, are you generating alpha essentially? Uh, here's a study by Mark Skousen, another economist. They said here they did a simulation of a hundred of these monkey portfolios and they outperformed the benchmark index by an average of 1.7% per year. So these are your best traders here, <laughs> this guy or gal. <laughs> How about this one? I, this is the, probably the most common one in terms of being a hurdle. Emotions. It can be expensive trying to convince the markets that you are right. That's from Ed Sequoia. He's featured in the book Market Wizards. Great book. Recommend it. You'd like to avoid this. You don't want this on your tombstone. You don't want to argue with the prices. You, you want to stay off this roller coaster of e emotional roller coaster here. Uh, you know, euphoric when you're making money and despondent when you're losing money. It really shouldn't uh, affect you. You should be dispassionate about this. And it's difficult to do. There's a lot of noise. Bull, bears, pundits, you name it. Getting you're getting it from all sides. We all do. But really, our worst financial enemy, I think, is us. I think that's a great way to summarize it. We tend to get in the way. We have a tendency to have confirmation, anchoring, and recency bias. And I think that this next little meme here might summarize it. We've all fallen into this trap. Things are going well. Typically, that means a a market is moving straight up rapidly and you happen to be on board and you're making lots of money. Sometimes you can think you're a genius because of it, but uh, that can actually be the worst thing to happen. You get overconfident and anyway, well, we won't worry about that right now, but remember algos are dominating the landscape now. It's not people like us behind their screens uh, trading. The percentage of the algorithmic uh, trading and, and systematic trading, machine-driven, HFT, all that. JP Morgan estimates 90% of the trading volume is algo or machine-driven. And Bloomberg says robots are outwitting humans on their investment picks. I think we could probably see how that's happening. So here's where we used to be. Now maybe some of us are still here, <laughs> but this is where we're uh, really the... Uh, I guess you could say where we are and where we're headed, algo trading. 
this is what it used to look like, folks. And this is a little video I took. I won't. I don't have time to go through it, but the trading pits, the trading floor. But here's what it is now. These machines have no emotion. They run automatically. at built-in controls, risk and profit controls. So how can you use basically use those algo-driven uh, machines and systems to your advantage in trading options? So how about adding algo-driven options to your portfolio for sideways markets, up markets, down markets? And why would we trade only index options, not individual stock options? Well, for one thing, they're always going to be less volatile. Index will always move less than an individual stock. And of course, we have strategies for any direction with an option. You can just as easily be short or long or non-directional. And then why not just track uh, one or two markets with an index and not six or 7,000 stocks and ETFs? So that's why we like what we do. Before we jump into the demo, I wanna point out, how do insurance companies make money? Can we trade like an insurance company? Well, let's check that out. You know how they make money. You pay them premiums and they assume risk. They're essentially selling and managing time, but they always hedge themselves. They're consistent, consistent and patient in their business plan. And they look at math, probabilities, statistics, actuarials, number crunching. It's all quantitative, just like a casino, actually, believe it or not. All those games are, of course, biased in their favor. You bet on that roulette wheel enough times, you're going to lose um, $5.26 on average. And that's just the math, folks. And the casino would love to have you sitting there playing forever and ever because they're going to mathematically eventually make that from you so that's called basically higher probability being the house this was kind of an interesting headline i thought i'd throw it in there nevada casinos report their ninth straight month of one billion house winnings a record and that was last year so can we model ourselves after an insurance company or after a casino and using math using quantitative data how can you be the house when trading options and I thought I'd put this in. This is a little bit of humor to mix it up. Make sure to uh, make a comment if you like that one. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I thought that was pretty funny. So let's jump into some high probability option strategies. We're collecting premiums. Uh, that's what you call a base hit, not going for the grand slam. We're selling options. We're consistent. We're patient. We're managing risk. We expect that we're going to have losing trades, of course. You gotta manage reward too, just as important, not getting greedy, but you really you need the proper tool to make that happen. And that's what we're gonna show you here. So these are short option strategies where you collect premium and you can have non-directional bullish or bearish strategies, just as easy to do any of these. And we're looking at higher probability outcomes with predetermined risk, and these are called credit spreads. These are always insured positions the way we do it, meaning covered. So predetermined risk and reward. And we're gonna look at some non-directional strategies too, if you're not familiar with that. Um, don't worry about this chart, but here's the uh, stock index, in this case, the E-mini S&P 500. Here's the upper boundary of the trade and the lower boundary of the trade. So there's a, a wide margin of error between these boundaries. And we're gonna show you how that works. And before we do, we're gonna look at the Greeks, just two of them. If you know this, it goes uh, quickly, don't worry. And if you don't know it, it's really, really simple. We're not gonna get uh, too wonky here, but Delta, and the way we use it, it's the approximate probability of an option expiring in the money. So that's what that means. And I see lots of uh, messages coming in here. Let's see here. Yeah, keep the comments and questions and messages coming, by the way. I, I'm, I'm, May not be able to get to them right away, but we we will. I, I promise you. Um, Delta. So if a Delta is 0.25, that means there's a 25% chance that this strike price would expire in the money. But conversely, 75% chance it expires out of the money or worthless. And remember, Delta is always moving with price and time, and this is important. It is not the probability of a winning trade. So always remember that as well. And theta decay, let's look at theta. Remember, options have limited lifespan. So theta is a negative number. It equals one day of time decay 
For example, if a theta premium, is, I'm sorry, if the premium is 10 points and theta is negative 0 0.05, so the next day after that, the premium would slip to 9.95, and after that, 9.90, uh, just based on theta decay. Of course, assuming the, we're just assuming a static market here, but just looking at the theta decay itself, and that's what it looks like on a graph. As you approach time zero, the value of that option starts to really, really drop, especially in the last couple months or even a uh, few days. But here's an example of a call spread. This red line here is the 4550 call. So you sell it, you, you collect four and a half points, put that in your pocket. At the same time, you buy the blue line, the 4570, you pay two and a quarter points, but the net result is that you collect $112.50, of course, take into account your commissions too, but that's selling an out-of-the-money call spread. It's selling an out-of-the-money put spread. Same type of idea, except we're looking at puts. You sell one for three, you buy one for one, the net result is you collect two points. In this case, that equals $100 minus your commission. So that's what that looks like. These are not naked options. Remember, everything is uh, predetermined risk. That's called a covered option spread. So no naked options trading, no naked little critters allowed. Uh, and here's a big benefit, folks. No margin calls when you're doing uh, the type of trading we're doing. And that means the market is not going to chase you out uh, of your position. You are trading the market. It's not trading you. Uh, no unlimited risk. Your, your risk is always predetermined. So let's look at a, a combination here of the two we just looked at, the put and the call spread. That's called an iron condor in this particular strategy. You sell an out-of-the-money call spread and put spread. You collect premium on both sides, and you look for the price of that market to stay between those two boundaries. Now here's a really unique strategy. It's a proprietary strategy we created. Some people said that's really weird, but I love it. Uh, it's a short option strategy. It's called a dragonfly. It has six legs. It's an income generating spread, just like a condor or selling a put or call spread. It's a variation on the condor. And let's walk you through that. And then we're gonna jump into the demo real quickly here. You sell four of these red lines here, the 4060 call. You buy three further out of the money calls, and then one closer to the money call. In the same structure on the downside here with the puts, selling four puts, you buy three further out and one closer to the money. And just to point out, the one that you buy here and the one that you buy here happens to be 50 points closer to the money compared to the four that you sold. So that changes the entire dynamics of this trade compared to a condor. And we're gonna look at that. And then we have some unique option strategies for bear markets as well. And of course, I don't have all the time, so I'm just gonna highlight just this one. Of course, it could be bullish too. You could sell half a dragonfly, just do the, just do the calls. So just the call side of a dragonfly. So you collect the premium from this trade and you look for the market to stay essentially underneath, underneath uh, this boundary generally speaking. And here's one called a bear hedge. That's a name we came up with. And let's look at that. Very, very simple. You sell an out of the money call spread. And with the money you collect, you buy an out of the money put spread. Just that simple. And a lot of times you can do this for even money. It won't even cost you money to put the trade on. So how do you do this? How would you even know where to begin? I think that's Jackie Chan looking confused. What strike prices to choose? Which market to buy and sell? What strategy to apply? What, at what price? At what, you know, when's the timing to get in? How do you get out? How do you manage the risk and the profits? Well, we have the answer, folks. I can imagine uh, you're thinking, what is the answer? It is Theta Trader pre-built option spreads. Our proprietary algo creates what we call Theta Trades every day. These are advanced uh, automated strategies, bull, bear, flat market conditions automated risk and profit tracking, something called the RTI, that's our proprietary indicator, risk thermal indicator. So Theta Trader, simple option spreads and effective profit and risk management. We're gonna jump into that here. So let me switch uh, screens here, folks. Got a few different monitors to contend with, so. 
going to take just a minute. Okay, you're now looking at the dashboard to Theta Trader. And we're going to walk you through what you see here. Very, very simply put, this top section here would be the Theta Trades. We'll show you that. This colorful section here, any open short positions or short spreads, spreads that you've sold, any bought positions. Here's your account info pulled directly from your trading account. So this is uh, with your AltaVest trading account, Theta Trader is our technology. So this is our software that works with your AltaVest trading account. And here's current quotes. And this is just my demo account that I use for webinars and presentations. So yours might look a little different up top, but don't worry about that. The important thing is all of this is the same. So you can see pre-populated bullish, bearish, and non-directional strategies. And you'll look at the markets here we're trading. This is the E-mini, S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, and Russell 2000. So that is the focus of Theta Trader. And I'll show you why a little bit later. But for now, we're going to take a look at the non-directional strategies like the Condor and the Dragonfly, and then we'll come back to something else. So you'll see here the Condors are all pre-built anywhere from 16 to 64 days till expiration. The magical wizard of the algorithm behind the scenes is building the trades for you, creating these trades for you, choosing the expiration, the strike prices, and the valuation and the, of the actual trade itself. This is your maximum profit potential at expiration here. This is your targeted annualized return at expiration. And this number here is really to compare one trade to another. So that's why it exists. It's not to suggest you're going to get 293% uh, every year if you keep placing this trade. It doesn't work like that, uh, of course. So this number here really is to compare one trade to another. Now, we'll check out the June in the month expiration. It has 64 days. All right, you'll see this table is going to pull up here on the screen and I like to look at the chart. So here we are, the current price and here's the call spread we're selling and the put spread that we're selling. So you can see, we'll go through some of these numbers, not every single detail, but 64 days till expiration. Here's your expiration date, settlement value, two and three quarters points, the net premium collected, put risk, call risk, call risk commission, uh, cash required, profit potential. This is your targeted return on cash. And then of course the targeted annualized return at expiration. And again, that number there, that just assumes if you were to place this trade and re receive the maximum profit at expiration, and you were to do that throughout the whole year, that would be the result. But of course that's not realistic, uh, but use this number to compare it to other trades. That's why it's there. Now, here's a, here's a question for you. Before I show you that, let me show you here. These are the strike prices that are pre-selected. You could always change them if you wanted, but I wouldn't suggest it. The magic of the algorithm has chosen these for us, chosen these strikes. So here is an example of the put that is being selected. It's a 3460 put that's being sold, and the delta is 9.96%. So that means there's over a 90% probability this put that you're selling is going to expire worthless and out of the money. And same with the call. That 4680 call that is being sold, delta is 6.59. So you have over 93% probability that this call will expire out of the money. So that's what we look at when we talk about the higher probability outcomes in our favor. So you're basically putting up $883, the maximum potential there of 116, and you have these higher probability outcomes. So that's what you would suggest as a base hit, so to speak. So it's pre-populated as a sell. You're selling the Condor. Of course, you could buy it if you wanted. You'd have to expect a big move up or down quickly if you want to buy it. Quantity always defaults to one. 
I'll go ahead and choose three just to be different. And you'll see the cash required moves up or down depending on the quantity that you choose, of course. We'll leave the pricing. We'll try to get two and three quarters out of it and we'll place that order. There, it just assumes we're filled. It's a demo account, just that simple. So we'll go back and I want to point out we have a feature here called a trade simulator. You can go backwards in time. It's a time machine. You can back test all these strategies. I'm going to show you some of these in just a second. But before I do, I'm going to show you a dragonfly. We can choose from any of these dragonflies today. So the algo is building that trade for us here. Here's what it looks like. Here's the current price of the market. Here's the upper boundary on the calls, the lower boundary on the puts. And you'll notice uh, similar details here compared to the condor, but you'll also notice that cash required is much higher, and that's because you're selling in quantities of four. And if you were to do two dragonflies, you'd, this would be a quantity of eight. If you did three, of course, it'd be a quantity of 12 and so forth. So your cash required, your maximum profit potential, targeted return on cash is always a little bit less compared to a condor. And that's simply because, remember, you're buying this call and buying this put. So you pay money for that. It's like buying additional insurance. You can see the higher probability outcome here with the puts and calls we're selling, just like on the dragon, uh, the condor. So over 90% probability on those puts that they would expire worthless and the calls that you're selling over 93 percent probability so we'll go ahead and do one of these here trying to collect over 10 points on that okay and there it is so that it's just that easy taking something complicated and really simplifying it something that would be almost impossible to do on your own trying to build these six-legged spreads and I'll show you in just a little bit too how it's almost impossible if you're trading stocks to do a six-way spread. But let's look at some simulations. This is kind of a fun part here. I loaded some to save time, but let me squeeze the screen down here. So let's say on March 4 of last year, you did this end of month April condor. We'll use these buttons to go backwards and forwards in time. And you'll see as you go day by day, you can see the result of the trade as the uh, days till expiration start to diminish. And we'll go ahead and use this play button. So you can see it's green. Green means good, do nothing. I'll explain those colors in just a minute. Yellow is just slightly elevated risk, and you can see why. It's getting a little bit closer to the upper boundary. Then it gets orange, and that's more risk a little more elevated risk and it goes green again and then yellow again and then at the very last uh, moment here the trade works out to be profitable and I just want to point that out that uh, that's why it's important to have this color-coded RTI giving you the signals as to when to make a move and when not to make a move otherwise I think you'd be uh, maybe driving yourself crazy in a situation like this wondering if she, if you should be getting out or not and I want to point out too that we can automate these signals and I'll show you that too. So whenever it turns profitable, which is blue or red, which is too much risk, we're going to be able to automate that. But let me compare that trade. Remember April into month. And that was the condor. Let's compare that same day and look at a dragonfly. Look at this. Blue, the trade turns profitable. You get a profit taking signal with 38 days remaining on the dragonfly. And you can automate this. When it turns blue, you don't have to do anything. Theta Trader will automatically place that order for you. It's scanning and monitoring your account, and it will place that order on your behalf. So that can be a big difference between a condor and a dragonfly. Sometimes the condor just won't mature enough, and a dragonfly will. And again, that's because of the different structure. You own this call here in this case. So theta decay 
uh, being closer to the money, it won't impact it as much. And of course, as the market gets higher, this delta on that call is, is higher as well. So it impacts you more favorably. Let's look at another. Again, you see the colors changing there, but still do nothing. Now again, a lot of us would get nervous. You see this big drop here, and you probably get scared and maybe close out that trade. Who knows, but it says still do nothing. And now you take a loss. So take your loss and move on, and when it turns red, you can automate it. So I wanted to point out, you know, here's a losing trade, uh, kind of a typical scenario if a trade doesn't go well, but you can have this automatic, automated. And let me show you the dragonfly now. So that was on, make sure we have the same, yep, January 2nd. And that's the uh, March 2020 condor. So we'll look at the March 2020 dragonfly on the same date. And look at that, again, you get a profit-taking opportunity. So again, you can automate that as well. So uh, the difference between the dragonfly and the condor can be substantial depending on the market conditions. We'll look at another one here. This is from July 6 of 2021. Here's a condor. It's the end of month August. So here's a condor, it turns profitable with 12 days remaining. So no drama in that trade. But let's look at the dragonfly for that same trade. And look at that, it turns profitable with 28 days remaining. So August 4, you had a signal, and you could have had that order placed and uh, get out of that position there. But if you were in the dragonfly, you would have to have wait, waited till August 20th. So at least, uh, you know, almost uh, two weeks further, too much more uh, more time to wait for that trade to mature in the condor. So that's why the Dragonfly can be a great vehicle at times. And we'll do a couple more here. And of course you can just go right to the end if we wanna save some time. So here's another one that worked out, an end of month condor with seven days left. We'll save some time. But you can see here, this closed out with 34 days remaining. So much, much earlier on this dragonfly. And let's see here. I kind of forget what trades I have loaded here. It doesn't really matter. We'll show you everything here. So here's a condor. That's right, I wanted to show you this condor here just to let you know that, let's see, here's a loss you would have taken with 27 days remaining on that condor and let's look at the dragonfly compare the two and you would have taken the loss uh, just as well on that dragonfly so the point is these other simulations i showed you where the dragonfly was superior to the condor uh, of course, there are times when the market's going to make moves, and no matter what strategy you, that you have, you're going to have to take a loss. So sometimes that's going to happen on a dragonfly too. Just want to kind of point out the obvious, really. But let me show you here. There's a uh, feature here in the help file. I have it loaded, and you can look at. Let me pull up the glossary here. So here's all the details on the RTI and how that works. I want to also point out here that if you want to go to your account settings, this is how you automate everything. You just click the risk manager and the profit directive. And that's all you have to do to activate the risk manager and profit directive so that ThetaTrader will automatically close out your positions for you when they reach that red or blue uh, threshold. I also point out there are video tutorials. There's uh, video lessons here as well on 
options. And we have proprietary research, our TradeScope newsletter. People love reading TradeScope and just kind of a brief overview of what's happening in those indexes and maybe an outlook for the future and some of the uh, what's on the economic calendar. And then also we have the daily trading summary. And then I'm gonna show you probably the best feature of all in just about two or three minutes here. So we do this every day. Sold a bunch of uh, call spreads here just the other day. Uh, what's happening in Asia and Europe and the US, economic calendar, uh, what to look for, technical points, you name it, it's all right here. Very uh, quick, easy read, proprietary research from us. But let me go back and want to point out if you want to look at current positions you can look at right on the dashboard of course so open short positions any open bot positions here or of course you can go to all the open positions on one page give it just a second so you can see here, you've got uh, 10 short positions, one bot position. You can see all the RTI colors. You can see all the positions here. If you want to go backwards in time, you know, maybe you want to look at this uh, condor, you just click on it. And there you have it down here. Okay, so very well. And you can look at closed positions here too. So let me show you the best feature of all. I'm getting short on time. Well, the time goes quickly, doesn't it? Okay, here's the best feature of all, folks. Your trade alerts. These are one minute, I'm sorry, well, less than one minute. You just touch respond, uh, accept or reject. That's all you have to do. The alerts are live and integrated with your account. It's just that simple. Here's how it works. You'll receive a text. You touch the link. It takes you to a screen. You can read the, uh, see the chart. You can see the trade broken down for you. The quantity is pre-selected for you and your account. The alerts are tailored to your account. If you like it, you touch accept. And if you don't like it, you touch reject. That's all you have to do. It's that simple, folks. So here we go. Let's jump into our offer for Trader's Corner. I'm going to go quickly here. Probably have to skip some things because we're running out of time. But So you get the Theta Trader software. These are all the uh, details here valued over $3,500 and the trade alerts, $4,400 value. So over $8,000 value, plus you get to talk to us. We're your private coach, we're licensed, we're experienced. So you have the software, the alerts, the private coach valued over $15,500. And then of course, remember the proprietary research I mentioned, the videos, $18,500 value. Normally it's $29.97. In fact, at live events, we've uh, charge 4,000, but this is a special event. We're going to have a special 83% discount here. It's our lowest price ever at 497. That's a lifetime membership. So one payment only, lifetime membership 497. cf.altavest.com forward slash TC for Traders Corner. That's my direct phone number. So call it. Uh, it'll transfer to someone else or go to voicemail. There's a 30-day guarantee on that. Um, so if you, you sign up, you have to change your mind for some reason, don't worry about it. We'll just refund that to you. And just to run through, I think I have maybe a few minutes here, but let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Do I have a couple minutes or am I out of time? Uh, you have a minute or two to answer questions. You know, sometimes people do run a minute or two over, but I got to say that easy button, you know, accept or reject the trade and uh, such an offer look amazing. <laughs> yes. 
it is amazing. People rely on that heavily. Um, but I'll just run through this real quick. Uh, we do IRAs. We trade the E-minis because they're more efficient. The dragonflies can only be done in the E-mini space that we're doing it, uh, at least effectively. Uh, let me just skip through here and see if I have any other questions. You can talk to me about any other questions. Um, minimum account, 20,000 people ask that. You can get a rebate, $100,000, rebate that 100%. 50 to 100,000, 50% rebate. But again, contact me for the details. We like the alternatives and you know, part of the reason is you need to protect your, your money, uh, inflation, uh, economic fallout, you name it, it's all happening. Markets probably aren't done dropping. So have something alternative that doesn't always rely on uh, the markets moving up you know, every day. That's really no way to uh, be a trader so let me jump here and yeah, remember too this is kind of important remember you want to avoid those market drawdowns if you're down 40 percent you know you have to generate a 67 percent return um, so keep that in mind as well lots of periods of time in the past where you know 10 20 25 years of time where the markets are, are sideways you can't rely on the market's always going up all the time. So there is our final slide. Let's see if there's a couple questions. I can't really see here. Uh, you have one that uh, asks links to what account where, and I'm assuming that the link is targeted to what user and their specific account. Uh, the, I'm not sure I see that question. Uh, the, th the trade alerts are going to each person individually. Uh, right, and the link gives them, you know, the accept or reject on their own specific account, I'm assuming, yeah. yes? Yes, it's your own account tailored for you and your account. The quantity is correct. It's not going to overlap with any current strike prices.